सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक वी हैव रीच क्वेश्चन नंबर 48 ऑफ फर्स्ट ट्राइवर सीपी मैथ प्लेलिस्ट एंड लेट्स सी व्हाट द प्रॉब्लम इज एंड द प्रॉब्लम नेम इज नॉन को प्राइम पार्टीशन ओके सो फाइंड आउट इफ इट इज पॉसिबल टू पार्टीशन द फर्स्ट एंड पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स इनटू टू नॉन एम्प्टी डिसजॉइंट सेट्स एस1 एंड एस2 सच दैट जीसीडी ऑफ देयर सम इज ग्रेटर देन 1 तो बोल रहा है कि आपको एक एरे एक तरीके से 1 से n तक नंबर का 1 2 3 4 5 6 टिल n आपको उसे दो पार्टीशन में ब्रेक करना है सच दैट जो उसका जीसीडी है ना जो दोनों का सम है दैट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन 1 राइट right. और हमें पता है जीसीडी डिनोट्स द ग्रेटेस्ट कॉमन डिवाइजर और इन अदर वे द हाईएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर एवरी इंटीजर नंबर फ्रॉम 1 टू n शुड बी प्रेजेंट इन एग्जैक्टली वन ऑफ द s1 और s2 उनमें से हर एक नंबर को आपको यूज करना है वो किसी ना किसी पार्टीशन में होगा तो आपको एक इंटीजर दिया सिंगल इंटीजर n और आपको बताना है कि whether that partition can be formed if not so no if yes then you have to describe the sizes of both partition and then you need to describe the values in the partition right so for the one we can't form any two partition from a value one right so no for three the numbers are one two three we need to form two partition so one of the possible outcome is ki aapne pehle wale mein ek size rakha and the value is two and dusre mein do size and the value is one and three so yeah let's see let's try to figure out some logic or some pattern ki how to do this problem okay so one thing that is ki ek s hai and s is equal to s1 plus s2 the form and bada s equal to g mm, s1 can be represented to g times m plus s2 can also be represented to g times n where g is the gcd right so we can say ki s equal to g times m plus n okay also makes sense ki uh, where g is greater than 1 uh, because if to be this to be possible the gcd should be greater than 1 and the sum of two thing so that would also be greater than 1 right so one thing that uh, we can get from this is ki sum can be uh, distributed into two multiply of two elements where both of them will be greater than 1 let's just say in this case three case okay so 1 plus 2 plus 3 and that would be 6 so 6 can we dissociate 6 into as two elements such that 2 times 3 so yeah 2 times 3 one of the possibilities and that's what shown here ki one of the elements get two and another the elements get um, cor corresponding to two uh, cor uh, after removing the two that is three so yeah that could be one of way to possibly work on this another way is uh, if we get ki we can form any solution over it i can now the next problem is how to dissociate them into two sets right so how to work on that so let's see if 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so one way that comes to my mind is ki i can dissociate into even or odd right so for even or odd as we as i know ki two evens when we i add two evens that will result into a uh, uh, when i to add two odds that will result into a four right which is even and in this case if i add 2 plus 4 which is that is also even so there is something common between them which is greater than 1 right so i can choose numbers i can form sets over ki one of them would be even one of them would be odd and then check their sum whether the gcd between their sum is greater than 1 or not if yes then we can print the output but there let's see something else okay so the number would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right these are the like the uh, the sequence okay so for the one i can't form any pattern right not possible and for the two i can form any pattern either and for the three i can form any pattern let's just say so let's work on this sequence right guys so 1 1 plus 2 is 3 right is there is a common between 3 and 3 theek hai 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 there is a common between 6 and 4 right 6 plus 4 is 10 10 and 5 there is a common between them which is uh, 5 10 plus 5 is 15 15 plus 6 there is a common between them 3 and 15 plus 6 is 21 21 and 7 there is a common between them 7 21 plus 7 is 28 8 28 and 8 there is a common between them 28 8 8 is 36 36 and 9 there is a common between them and that result into 45 45 and 10 there is a common between them 55 and 11 there is a common between them 11 so yeah that is the pattern that i want to show you guys ki the sum of these numbers right so there is a common between the sum of all the numbers on the left side and 
when I leave the right number, right? So once it ten, agar main inka sum nikal lo, to there is something common between this sum and the eleven, right? So that's the pattern I wanna show you and why I want you guys to work on it. So for that, just take a number n and take its input, and if that number is less than equal to two, as I, we have already talked about, ki we can't form any number between them. Just print out endf and return from here so yeah if that's not the case that means i can form a pattern yeah so just print out the yes and now what would that pattern be as i have told you key that a pattern would consi consist of n minus one numbers right so see out n minus one numbers with a space and the, those numbers would start from 1 right and go till n minus 1 just print this uh, but this will result in a uh, extra space right so how about i do this first print space and then i yeah makes sense n minus 1 then space number space number so ye to ho gaya first set can after that you just print an another line and then you print talk about the set 2 which is of size 1 right and then space so 1 and then space and after that that would be the last element as i have already talked to you ki agar main is tarike se partition karunga i will get a element so let's try some input over this pattern So one of the input is three, right? And for three, I can dissociate into one, two, and three. Yeah, makes sense. Let's try something else. As you talked about eleven, now. So let's talk about the eleven. That's a very tricky and interesting problem about the pattern. So yes, one set ten the taraf, and for the one eleventh is on another side. So let's see whether it pass all the cases or not right wrong answer on test one let's see okay so i think i got my issue and the issue is i need to print yes in this form right not in the caps form well code chef kabhi in every other problem they say to print in this order now let's see whether it works or not and let's try to resubmit it let me just save it back and let's see whether that it is an issue or something else still wrong answer on test one let's check so i think i got my other issue is the no and the yes we don't have to print them in the all upper case i just have to use the camel case convention so i use the upper case like the, in the other cases i think it should work now let's see Course, uh, code force should not make these changes in this question, but kya kar sakte ho? showing accepted here. So, yeah, guys, that's it. I uh, just made the two changes yes and no in the camel case convention. So, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.